Good evening guys, welcome again to Lansky's Android Studio channel. Today we are gonna uh, create a video or uh, I'm gonna be showing here a video on how to load a web page in an Android activity. So from your launcher activity here, which is here, uh, shown here uh, on the left, we have a launcher activity that would now load another activity or screen in your Android app which shows a web page. So let's begin by loading our Android Studio. So let's create a brand new project here. Let's name it load web page. So uh, click next and just follow the default here. Click next and use an empty activity here. So click that and uh, we shall be creating the launcher activity which is the main activity and then click finish. So here uh, we shall be creating a very basic uh, example of how to load a web page here. So in our, uh, we should be having a two Java file here or two activity, the main activity and let us now create a new activity here, which shall, uh, another empty activity which shall contain a web view. So click that and let's call it uh, web activity. So don't check the launcher activity because this is not our launcher activity. Uh, our launcher activity is the main activity that loads uh, the first time you open your Android app. So click finish. So we now have our web activity that Java that has its own XML or layout file here. So basically the layout file is still empty and on our main activity you have a layout file there. You delete the, this hello world thing here and you create a button that shall load the next uh, the next activity which is our web activity. So we can change the text here to uh, uh, say uh, load Google page. So that's very basic there. Let's increase the text size. Let's make it 30. So uh, we have here load Google page. So let's assign a an on click there. Android on click so let's name it load web page so you copy this one copy and go to your launcher activity here and create a procedure public void and name it the same as your on click and of course it should be it should be a view v like that so have we imported that i think we should import the view import android that view that view so our parameter could be anything here so i just name it v and here you create an intent which will be used to load the second activity which is our web activity that java so intent just name it intent so we should import another thing here import android.content dot intent so it's now not in red intent equals new intent this so the intent should go to then our web activity so web activity don't use that java here you use that class so 
we now have our intent so uh, you can now start your activity here and pass the intent variable so uh, if we test it it should it should load our uh, load our next uh, our web activity so let's test it here uh, load a, an emulator any emulator so our emulator is loading okay we now have our emulator and it should load the button now so let's click load google page so it's here it proceeded to the web activity but we don't have a code yet there to load a web page so right now uh, let's go back to our android studio and go to your web activity so you should load a web page here so but first we haven't added a web view yet to our web uh, uh, to our xml so it's under widgets uh, let's add a web view and we want our web view to occupy the entire page so we'll go to the code and change wrap content to match parent for both the width and the height so it's there and let's go back so it now occupies our entire screen so let's go back to our, our uh, web activity that java let's create a web view variable and let's name it web and assign assign a layout object there which is web view the name of our web view object so find view by id r that id this this is fairly basic we have, you have seen it before that web view so that's it uh, the problem is you have not yet imported the uh, the file that would load the web view Im import android that web kit web kit that web view mm -hmm. this should be capital okay so after uh, doing this uh, you now have your you now have your web view so you can now uh, assign a URL there so web so you, you create a string URL first string URL equals let's assign that to Google google.com so you now have a url and you pass that to your web view web that load url and then url so let's test our code so we now loading uh, we are now loading the <coughs> emulator So we now have load Google page, click the button. So web page not available could not be accessed. So uh, we have an error here. It's net ear cage missed something. I think I figured this out. I think we failed to put the required permissions at our Android manifest.xml. So let's go back to our code and go to manifest, load the Android manifest.xml. I think we forgot to provide the internet permissions here for us to be able to load an internet uh, web page. So we should be having users permission under name android.permission.internet. So let's save and check if 
our code now works. So click load Google page. So now we are able to load the Google web page. So, uh, so this is important guys. Uh, I was uh, happy that we are able to see that kind of error so that uh, by the time you do that in your own app, you should not miss the required permissions in your own that uh, Android manifest that XML file. So uh, whenever you load a web page or anything that requires inter uh, internet connection, be sure to put this line here in your in your uh, uh, Android manifest that XML. So be sure to have this permission Android that permission that internet. So sometimes you also need uh, the network state permission. But for now, in our purposes, this actually sufficed. So that's it, folks. Thanks for listening and viewing my video here at my Android Studio channel. Bye-bye.